I changed my mind. I had these uh, five boulders placed along here last fall. And I thought we'd kind of dress up the place and everything else. And that was while everything was still dirt and looking good. And I, I knew I would have to try to trim around there, mow around there, all that kind of thing. But it's just become annoying. So I am going to be moving those boulders today. I'm just getting them out of there. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to kind of put them on the woods edge for now. I just know I don't want them there. I've been kind of itching to try out the new trailer. I've used all the other Ultratech trailers a decent amount. I wanted to give this one, um, put it through its paces as well. And so that's what we're doing today. Using the Summit TX25 tractor, you'll notice we've got the added grapple on that bucket. That thing just stays on there all the time. And I think you'll get to see the added grapple in action as well as just kind of out of the way and how you can still utilize the bucket as you normally would. So I brought on a cinder block with me actually. And even though this trailer has a parking stand on it, I was just going to be unhooking it, disconnecting it there and putting on a piece of level ground. But as I'm putting weight in there, I just kind of thought maybe this parking stand would want to sink down into the ground and make it too low to try to get underneath there uh, with my ball hitch. And so I wanted to keep a cinder block there kind of as extra reassurance to prevent that from happening. You know, and everything's a bit of learn as you go and hopefully some of what you see here you can use to shorten your learning curve or you know i mean some of you out there know it all already and you don't have to worry about that but positioning the weight in here determining how much weight you can put in your trailer is something that just kind of comes with experience and every trailer is a little bit different you know <laughs> not too long ago actually just about where we're standing i was loading up my big old triple axle dump trailer full of dirt on there actually not full of dirt just putting a bunch of dirt in there and i put a lot less dirt than i thought uh, would be the max limit for it and it was just too much to lift it up out of there with the hydraulic uh, dump that we had on there and those kinds of lessons stick in your mind all right i wanted to make sure i wasn't overloading this trailer but i didn't know how much the stuff weighed that i was putting inside there you know i don't know how much the boulders weighed i don't know how much the crushed rock weighed but I do know that the further back you can position your weight, the easier it's gonna be for the dump system to work. The flip side to that, all right, especially if it's not hooked up to anything, is that if you put all your weight back there, you wanna be careful that you're not just flipping the, the front of the trailer way up in the, in the air. And now these, this tandem axle is shifted back, all right, towards the rear of the trailer to kinda of help prevent that too. And um, you don't wanna to have too much tongue weight in the front when you're hooked up. You don't wanna to have too little tongue weight and have all your weight way back here and have everything raise up in the air. You know, it's just a balancing act, all right? And so you gotta kinda be aware of all this stuff and it's seldom gonna go perfectly, but you wanna get it pretty darn close. I think it goes without saying to just try to keep everything balanced and centered as much as you possibly can on there. One important safety thing I do wanna mention though is with the position of the tongue on your trailer, all right? When you're using one of these trailers or any trailer, anything that you have hooked up to your receiver. You know, a lot of you guys are buying these trailer movers that we sell keep that tongue down low all right you can see i've got it here even with the axle or maybe even a hair lower you don't want that way up in the air here all right you want to keep it down low you don't want anything to try to cause your tractor to tip over backwards if you get in an awkward situation maybe on a hill or on uh, some pothole or some other goofy area you don't have enough weight up front to offset that there's well, tractors are dangerous. We've talked about that before. So just use common sense, go slow, keep your loads low, and that goes for the receiver too. So that added grapple works really well. You know, when you got a, a solid bucket on the front, you can't exactly see what you're doing. You know, you just got a big old steel plate in the way, but you can, you can hear for it, right? You know, you can listen to those cues of when you're making contact with a big old rock. And then uh, just let that added grapple do its thing. I mean, this, the Summit tractor comes standard with the third function on the front come standard with a rear remote too, come standard with liquid ballast and the tires. It's just set up to do work and I, I absolutely love that. And the Atta Grapple is such a cheap way to get additional functionality out of your bucket. And especially for you folks out there that don't have a quick attach bucket, if you still want a grapple functionality, you can just bolt this right to your pinned on bucket and get that. You gotta have a third function or a diverter still but it's a great way to open up the versatility of your bucket. Now this trailer does have a reinforced frame and structure all underneath the bottom, but I still wanted to take care to gently lower those boulders down there. Number one, because they're, they're not square. They're gonna kind of shift around when I, when I drop them down in there and go where they want. So I want it to come out easy as best I can. And I don't want the trailer to slide all around and, and move from where I have a position. So while I did think that this was gonna be no problem for the dump system on this trailer, you know, staring at it, I realized I do have a decent amount of weight forward in it. Um, and like everything that I, that I do, I probably misjudged 
somewhat the amount of weight that was in here. I don't know how much weight those boulders added up to, but it was uh, pretty significant. You know, this has a, a really smooth kind of hard plastic or vinyl floor in it. So it was pretty easy to slide those boulders around in there and get them towards the back and let uh, one or two of them just kind of drop out on its own. And you can cheat a little bit, right? You can lift up when you're parked and have your parking brake on and everything else and kind of stabilize your tractor. You can raise up that three point a bit to help increase the, the dumping angle as well. And so that's gonna be a big benefit uh, versus using this on a UTV or an ATV. But anyway, like I say, you learn as you go. Hopefully you take away something from that there to make it a little bit easier for you. So when they dropped off that big uh, three inch crushed stone pile, I didn't really know where I wanted them to put it. And that spot, I guess, was as good as any for the time being. And I, I've got some ideas to use that, uh, the rest of that pile there in the future. I used some of it for the drainage ditch um, that's along the road that we just put in. And so that came in really handy. And, and it's nice to kind of have a stockpile. And in fact, I need to get uh, some more topsoil out here just to have a stockpile of it. Um, I've got some gravel that I've been using here and there as well. And it's just nice if you have the space to have the material on hand so when you have a project come up you can just dip into it as you need to and um and that's what i'm going to do with the stone but <laughs> it's in the wrong spot and so again one of the reasons i was moving those big boulders out of the way and why i got to get that stone out of the way is that i'm gearing up to turn this area into wildflowers all right and so i want to get everything cleared out of there um, we're going to mow it down uh, spray this fall probably hit it again in the spring one more time and then we're gonna be planting our wildflowers there and just turn this area in just to a nice, well, that's what we're gonna do with several areas out here is just make a nice pollinator habitat. Um, you know, just be, enhance the area, you know, make it look pretty. And it, right now it just looks kind of rangy and whatnot. And they had a huge pile of uh, dead timber and, and root balls and everything else here when we moved in. And so we've cleared that out and actually put that along kind of the whole edge of the little marsh here. And it's, it's getting covered up and filling in nicely with weeds and, and whatnot, but I wanted that to be just some cover for, you know, small game rabbits and birds and anything else that wants to hide out in there too. You know, Chris and I were talking and last year we were moving some of that three inch stone as well in the earth mover trailer. I think we were only doing two bucket loads in there, um, not because the trailer can't handle it, but again, because of the piston assist to get that up in the air so you don't have to do any manual labor. So I put three loads in here today because I forgot about that and uh, I had to give it some extra oomph to try to get that uh, the piston assist in the air to dump this thing. So two is probably better than three loads. Um, again, it just it, man, material weighs a lot, it weighs more than you think, um, but it sure beats doing it by hand. Anyway, folks, getting some stuff done today. Summit TX25 tractor, Rhino High Canopy never hurts. I'll tell you that. Got the UltraTech trailer. This is their new model. All right, these sides all fold down come completely off so you can treat it like a flatbed trailer. Got things decked out, have our Spico quick hitch on here, hydraulic top link, got our Versa bracket, you can put weights on here, obviously hook up a trailer, has chain hooks, all sorts of stuff there too. If you want information on the products that we show in this video, go to our website, goodworkstractors.com. We ship all over the country every day of the week. And I like showing this stuff in the real world, how it actually goes, how it actually works. It doesn't always go perfect, but it sure beats the alternative. So if you wanna look at other videos, we have over 700 out there already. Make sure you check those out. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.